Kia ora, Year 12. This is an extension question from the old, old Delta. So it's an old scholarship question and it's a trig identity that is coming at the end of our um, double angle formula exercise. So only a couple of you are up to this so far, but I'm going to um, just get a wee bit ahead of you and YouTube some of these harder questions. So when we've got an identity like this, we need to think about where is it going to be easier to start. And you sometimes you just have to pick a side and get onto it. In this case, I've noticed that I've got cos of 4 theta, which is going to be very easy to do something with because 4 theta is equal to 2 times 2 theta. So I see straight away that I can use my double angles. I'm going to work with this, hope that the 1 quarter is a nice thing rather than a painful thing, and eventually head towards the left-hand side. So let's get on with it. We've got 1 quarter of cos of 2 times 2 theta plus 3 is equal to... Now, I could choose the cosine version of my double angle or the sine version or the combo version. I'm going to just pick the cosine version. Um, we're working with both sine and cosine over here, so it probably will wash out whichever, whichever way. So we've got one quarter of, um, so two cos squared two theta minus one plus three. I'm going to clean up really carefully as I go. So I get two cos squared of two theta plus two. Now I'm going to do this. And I've got to square it. So I've got one quarter times two of two cos squared of theta minus one squared plus two. And when I expand that, I'm going to have four cos to the power of four theta minus four cos squared theta plus one plus two. You can see that the quarter is starting to be helpful here. We've got eight cos to the power of 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 2 plus the 2 here, so plus 4. So you should be starting to feel pretty good now. We've got 2 cos to the power of 4 theta minus 2 cos squared theta plus 4. Right, so if we just take a look at that, now let's think about where we're trying to get to. We want to have sine to the power of 4 theta plus cos to the power of 4 theta. So we've got some of that already. In here. Let's rewrite it as cos to the power of 4 theta, ticking that one off, minus, or oh sorry, plus another cos to the 4 theta, minus 2 cos, and that should not be a 4, right? That should be a 1. Sorry, guys, I'm not going to remake the video because of that tiny mistake. Um, but what I did there is that I was checking back at that line above as I was doing this one. So you could spot pretty easily here that I'd gone wrong, it is always worth just quickly doing what I didn't do there and running your eye over it after you've written out the line. So 2 cos squared theta plus 1. So that's good. And now if we look at this, hopefully you guys will see that we've got a perfect square. So I've got cos to the power of 4 theta plus cos squared theta minus 1 all squared. And we like that because we're finished. We've got cos to the power of 4 theta plus sine squared of theta, all squared, which is cos to the power of 4 theta plus sine to the power of 4 theta, which is equal to the left-hand side as required. So it is a miracle, a scholarship video that is under four minutes long. Have a great day, guys, and see you on Monday.